TV, I'm Victoria Durant and this week we're at Fanny's Farm Shop near Eygate. County Council's winter operation has swung into action. The Council's fleet of gritting lorries had their first night out last Sunday. This was the first night that alarm bells sounded after the road surface temperature dipped. The Council are determined to keep our roads clear and safe during the winter months and in line with this resolve have stockpiled 16,000 tonnes of salt. They have also prepared 39 high-tech gritting trucks as well as signing up an army of farmers equipped with spreaders and plows ready for any exceptional circumstances that winter may throw at us. Could this year be the year that the snow and ice does not bring our counties to its knees? Leatherhead has become the new location for a division of the UK's premier home builders, Barclay Homes. The company that develops new properties is the latest in a growing list of businesses that are proud to call Leatherhead home. Barclay Homes was founded by Tony Pidgeley, CBE, in Cobham in 1976 and today is one of the UK's best known developers of new properties. The new Leatherhead premises will act as the regional headquarters for Barclay Southern, covering Surrey, Sussex, Hampshire and South West London. There will be around 80 people on site in the new offices in Kingston Road, a number that will increase over time as the division expands. Southern Sales and Marketing Director Ben Annitz is delighted to be based in the town. He told Surrey TV that it is great to be just down the road from where our company was founded, therefore maintaining our Surrey roots. We are very much looking forward to getting to know our neighbours and of course being a part of commercial life in Leatherhead. Two business-minded teenagers from Glenthorne High School in Sutton have started their careers early by doing it their way. Jack Hobbs and his brother Ollie have created a brand of clothing, Perry, and a business strategy to make it a bona fide business. One Saturday night last February, the brothers played around with some ideas on Photoshop and then came up with a quirky and original name that could be incorporated into a new fashionable range of streetwear. Their first batch of 30 t-shirts sold out in just five Five days. The enterprising duo went on to create a wider range of items including beanies, sweatshirts and coats under the Perry brand and have attracted the attention of the school staff who had a special meeting to discuss the boys achievements. The head teacher of the school, Mr Stephen Hume, impressed by the boys business minds even asked them to design and supply items for the school. All the clothing is printed locally and even the face of the brand, Santino Bucknell, comes from the same school. When asked about their long-term aspirations, Jack said, we are starting to look at pop-up shops already and expanding the range. We also want to offer our clothing to independent retailers. We at Surrey TV have a feeling that Perry will be the name to be seen in during 2014 and beyond. Staying in the fashion world, Ian Monroe, gentlemen's outfitters at Pump Corner Dorking, are excited about the new arrival of a high-tech winter coat that will definitely keep the cold weather at bay. Stephen Gardner went to see this new arrival and to find out more. Thank you, Vicky. I'm here with Tom at Ian Monroe's on Pump Corner in Dorking. Uh, Tom. What's this coat all about? Now, Stephen, I must show you this. This is our new winter coat. The fabric is called Alcantara, which is man-made fibre. Right. Very, very light. It is nice. Very light to wear. But the beauty about it is it is thermal and will keep you warm and protect you from the weather. From the, the cold, and the wind and the rain. Yeah, and the rain and everything. But it's so light. It's so light, but it's got a membrane in it, which is like a radiator. You switch it on, you switch it off. Wow. Can and I try this on? Try this on and see what you think. Yes. It is light. Can you feel how light it is? That is really light. So it this really will go should... with body temperature. So, believe it or not, when it's cold outside, it will actually heat your body. Wow. So, an example of some of the wonderful clothes that are available here at Ian Monroe's on Pump Corner in Dorking. Um, here's one of uh, the outfits uh, that Tom's put together. Um, come on down. Back to you, Vicky. 
Tennis star Annabelle Croft joined a select group of Surrey shoppers sniffing out a bargain at Rainbow Trust's new boutique style store in Cheam this week. The glamorous sporting legend and TV presenter officially launched the store alongside a family who have been supported by Rainbow Trust. Kingston native Croft said, what could be better than grabbing a vintage bargain and knowing that the money you spend will go towards helping terminally ill children and the people who support them? It's win-win. Every year, Rainbow Trust provides expert social palliative care for over 1,300 children with terminal or life-threatening illnesses and their families. The Trust relies almost entirely on donations. There are many more families in need of Rainbow Trust's help and the charity's aim is to be able to afford to support them all. Whilst we've been filming today, we've been joined by a very special guest who's come down to see us. Um, it's Nicholas Owen from the BBC. Hi Nicholas, and lovely to meet you. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, and so do you come down here quite often? Oh indeed, yes. I've been to uh, Fanny's Farm many, many times. I live not very far away at all. Uh, I'm here today with my daughter. She's hiding around the all corner right. here somewhere. She lives just down the hill. Um, this is a very special place to us. I I've seen it grow over the years and it's just amazing. I, I, just, I just love it here. I always end up buying far more than I expect to, but that's yeah. good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely, lovely place. And um, I hear your book is coming out. Is that oh, right? It is out. It's it is out. out. Oh, it oh, is fantastic. out. Yes. Let me tell you, it's called Days Like This. Yeah. £9.95, oh, so it won't, won't damage your pocket too much. But the thing about the book is that it, it talks a lot about my history, which is all around this area. Uh, I started work as a local newspaper reporter here. <laughs> I did stories in this very area all those years ago. I don't want to think about how many years ago. So there's lots of stories about where I was brought up, not far from here, my early working life around here, and of course contemporary events in Surrey, because I'm a Surrey person through and through. Lovely, yeah, so uh, people who are fans of Surrey, or live in Surrey, they're going to have a lot there to read that is going to be of, of interest. Absolutely, I hope so, and there's also stuff about the news business, which is what I've been in all these years. I'll let you into a secret, I yeah. promise not to tell anybody, apart from the viewers of course as well. Uh, next year, if I'm still here, I would have been working for 50 years. Isn't that wow, a thought? Isn't that that's a thought? impressive. Yes. <laughs> what an achievement. I think impressive is the word. It makes me feel very, very old, that's for sure. But I've been very lucky. Uh, I've done what I've always enjoyed, being a journalist. Uh, television, like you're doing now, has been such, oh, so enjoyable. I, I'm, I'm, I am a very lucky person. Oh, well, it's been such a pleasure to have you here today. It's fantastic. Pleasure is mine. Do enjoy Fanny's Farm. Thank you. Great place. The Guildford Shakespeare Company has a brand new home in central Guildford. On the first of the month, the company moved into a new office in Walnut Tree Close, close to Guildford Main Station. Sarah Gobram from the company told us this is a major step forward for Guildford Shakespeare Company, especially as we approach the start of our most ambitious year to date. In 2014, they'll be staging three seasons of work, four productions and a 450th birthday party for Shakespeare. The aim is to engage over 12,000 people through professional theatre and education programmes that are created, delivered and performed right on their doorstep. Whether you're into Shakespeare or not, I highly recommend you take the chance to come and see one of these live performances. They bring the bard to life in a unique and captivating manner. Surrey soprano Natalie Coyle had a starring role at the Rugby League World Cup last weekend. The singer sang the national anthem in front of 30,000 people prior to the start of the game. Natalie, who grew up in Bookham and attended St Teresa's School in Effingham, has enjoyed a string of recent appearances at similar events, as well as touring with the band Blake throughout the UK. She is also becoming a regular on the London social scene and appears in national magazines almost on a weekly basis. On her social media pages this week, Natalie described it as an incredible experience. Continuing the musical theme and bearing in mind the Strictly fever that is presently dominating the weekends, Michael and Martina Burton, professional ballroom champions, will be debuting their new show, When We Dance, on Sunday the 24th of November at the Kingston Dance Studio at 3pm. 
The show is accompanied by the Rat Pack of Opera, Tenors Unlimited, who hail from Surrey. They'll be premiering their latest tracks as Martin and Martina display all of their favourite ballroom styles of dance. Tickets can be purchased on the day or via the website at mnmstrictlyballroom.com. They're limited, so I would suggest you visit the website as soon as possible to reserve your seat for a wonderful afternoon of music and beautiful choreography. The Guildford Flames have done it again. They won both their games against the Swindon Wildcats last weekend and maintain their joint leadership of the league. The Flames are also leading the cup table. The team are gelling together and Paul Dixon, head coach, said, We have just played some of the best technical games we have had all season. The team are now training hard for the best outcome of play in their up-and-coming visit to Telford before a huge game against Manchester Phoenix. That game is at the Spectrum on Sunday the 17th and it's Kids Go Free. Here I am with three generations of wonderful women who run this place. It's such a fantastic and unique place. Lovely to meet you. It's Fanny, Nelly and Latasha, isn't Great, it? Yes. It's been wonderful being here. So how long have you been running? Been running the place 35 years. I have to think that one out. I started with the barrow at the gate and now I've turned the chicken houses into the shoppities. Oh wow, well. it's, it's so unique and beautiful here. Um, and I hear you've recently won a, a, an award with Surrey Life, is that we right? We have, yes. No, yeah, the them. best farm shop in Surrey is what we've just won through the Surrey Life magazine, so it's a really brilliant achievement. Yeah. And a big pat on the back for all the people that help us as well, because we're always nagging them. And when we win an award, well, the award, it's all worthwhile. Well, you obviously make a great team here. It's, it's so nice to see. Thank you. I have the ideas. She gets them going and so long as we don't work together it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful day we've had here at Fanny's Farm Shop. It's such a unique and special place to come and visit. And if you're somebody who enjoys fresh produce, vegetables, fruit, pickles and jams and also great company, then this is the place for you. Take care and enjoy the county. and his brother Ollie have created a brand of clothing, Perry. And sorry, <laughs> that was really good. Was like it just really laughed, and I couldn't see probably the next. Is it able just to be a little yeah, bit? Yeah, can you lean it forward? Really Done it again. They won both their games against the Swindon Wildcats. I felt like I was too over the top. No, it wasn't. No, okay.